Hi, I'm Dr. William Hummel and this is Infertility Insights. I'm a fertility specialist at the San Diego Fertility Center and today's topic is male infertility. When surveys are done to assess couples for infertility, we see men are responsible for more than 50% of infertility issues of concern. So it's very important to take a look at this ever important topic to improve a couple's success and obtaining the right treatment. There are lifestyle issues where you begin, and please see my video on lifestyles and fertility for all men to have the best physical attributes to really have the best sperm quality. But what is sperm quality? Let me walk you through a comprehensive semen analysis that should be a part of every couple's evaluation. It starts with the semen being produced and assessed within an hour. The volume and the count of the sperm are assessed the count is portrayed as how many million sperm per milliliter or cc of semen is obtained. In addition to this, we take a look at sperm movement. We take a look at two components of sperm movement. The first is what percent of the sperm are moving, such as 65% of the sperm are moving. And then we also look at forward progression to see if the sperm are moving forward in a slow or in a rapid movement. This also correlates very well with fertilization. But the best correlation of fertilization is morphology or the shape of the sperm. And here we come to what couples should obtain is a Kruger, K-R-U-G-E-R, -E morphology assessment, which is a strict assessment of the head of the sperm and the presence or absence of an enzyme, acrosin, which can be very important in the enzymatic activity of sperm penetrating an egg. We also see a rather new test is worthwhile considering. This is called a DNA fragmentation index, or DFI. There are correlations between broken or fragmented DNA, which can actually impair sperm function, and this gives us another piece of critical information on the key issue of how do you know we fertilize. You could also take a look at my video on explaining unexplained infertility for more information on this. A urologic evaluation may sometimes be of value. Men have a dilated vein called a varicocele that can associate with decreased sperm motility as well as concentration. These are controversial, of course, and need to be assessed with all parties as a second opinion to see if a man would benefit from a surgical ligation or tying off of this dilated vein, thus reducing the local heat around the testicle and improving sperm quality thereafter. Some men need a hormonal evaluation by a blood test to see that there aren't any other factors with hormones such as thyroid and prolactin. So an assessment would be of value with your infertility specialist or urologist to gain insight into medical treatments that can be of help to each and every couple. In addition to this, We'll take a look at medications that can impair sperm quality. The most important recent medication is Zoloft, which has been associated with higher rates of DNA fragmentation, as mentioned earlier. So we advise men at our center to decrease or diminish their medication use, especially discontinuing Zoloft. Some high blood pressure medications and medications for depression may also have an impairment of sperm function as well as sexual performance. We see ejaculatory dysfunction occurring more and more in men as they have other age and disease related issues. This would include diabetes. So having a urologic and or Physical examination with your primary care provider can help detect these issues of concern. After a proper evaluation, diet and lifestyle issues still make for an improvement and antioxidants and vitamins will improve sperm morphology with any treatment there will be a synergistic improvement in trying to make the best sperm for your success in your treatments with your doctor and I wish you the very best for your success. 
This is Dr. William Hummel.